would I take the man who's making $42,000, who has high character, who cares about me, loves on me, takes care of me in other ways, over the man who makes two hundred dollars to $300,000, who is neglectful? Um, I can confidently say right now that I would. I would. Hey ladies, it's your girl Cherie here. And let's talk about professional women and should you marry a man that makes $40,000 a year? So this is Anthony O'Neill on our screen. I don't watch a lot of his podcasts, but I do see that he has some very good topics. It just so happens that I saw this, the intro to this, and I also saw a short where he had another Black woman who was making really good money saying the same thing, that she would also marry a man who makes 40000 a year. So I don't know if this is a question that he is asking these women, but because I saw it twice, I decided that I wanted to do some content on this. So first of all, this video is for professional women that make 70,000 a year, 80,000 a year, 120,000 a year, as many of us are. I do not believe it is a good idea for us to marry a man making $40,000 a year. Um, now, I will say this as well. If the man is a $200,000 a year asshole, definitely don't marry him either. But I do think that we uh, can and should find men of character who are making good money. And the problem that I have with $40,000 a year is that that man typically is unskilled labor. And unfortunately, unskilled labor is going to get crushed in the American economy over the next decade. McKinsey did studies on this in 2018 before the pandemic. And he talk, they talked about the fact that um, Black people in what they call supportive roles, Black people in supportive roles, this is basically your unskilled labor, are going to be losing their jobs in droves. In fact, they said that 4.5 million Black people are going to most likely lose their jobs to automation. And this again was in 2018, 2019, before the pandemic that they came up with this statistic. So unskilled labor ladies, these are not our tradespeople. If you've got a good HVAC man, a good plumber, you know, appliance repair. Uh, I know a uh, father and son who own a junk removal company and they make really good money. I think they make over 250000 a year. Uh, a good salesperson, if he's in car sales or any kind of sales, you know, those are really good jobs and opportunities. So I'm not talking about those guys at all. But I do think that a $40,000 a year man is not a good idea for Black women who are professional. So I do have four pieces of advice for you as you are thinking about this. Number one is if he loves you, and more importantly, if he loves himself, he is going to make more money. He is going to look to become skilled labor. There are a lot of people on YouTube that I know of that are trying to help, especially Black men, level up their income, getting them into appliance repair, getting them into um, the trades, electricians, helping them get their CDLs, all sorts of stuff like that. If he doesn't have the initiative to move out of the 40,000 a year range into at least the 60 a year range, that's like minimum, then I'm suggesting to you that he is not skilled labor and to make it a hard pass. If he is looking to be an entrepreneur, entrepreneurship is a skill. Does he know how to market? Does he know how to sell? Does he know how to manage cash flow? Does he know how to hire people? Does he know how to... Um, manage the taxes in a business, things like that. If he does not have the skills of entrepreneurship, my suggestion to you is for you to find somebody else. Advice number two is open up your options. I definitely believe that. I'm not the person who believes that all black men are bad. I don't allow black man male bashing on my channel. Uh, however, I do believe that you are able to find the best option for you and um, also a great father for your children. So, you know, look outside of the Black community. 
Number three, if you are unskilled labor, then you should get some skills. So I know I said before that this was the video for professional women who are making good money, but if by chance you still decided you wanted to see this video, I'm here to tell you now, if you are unskilled labor, if you're currently making $40,000 a year, then your best bet is to get some skills that get you into at least $70,000 a year, if not more, depending on where you live. And finally, a man is not a wealth plan. A man is not a plan. Just having a man is does not mean that you are going to actually build wealth. So you need to, along with the man, or maybe you all come together, know how to actually manage money, how to make money, how to manage it, how to multiply it, and how to preserve it for generational wealth. So that's it, ladies. Uh, those are my suggestions for you. Definitely put in the comments what you think with regards to this, and I'll see you in the next video. Ladies, do you own a small business? Want to get grants for business loans, credit cards, or other types of funding? Then click my link in the description to get all the information.